Alright, today I'm playing a game called Connected. Um, not entirely sure what it is or what it's about. I guess I'm going to find out. I think I figured it out. Okay, cool. It's a game about connecting squares. And uh, what I assume is... Yeah, so those rotate. Uh, it's matching lines to one another, I suppose. So these can't move, but they can rotate. There's no time limit, there's no limited amount of moves, as far as I know. And you just need to connect the squares, different colours mean different things. So red squares don't move, yellow ones rotate, and blue ones I can move wherever I want. I don't know what the yellow means. Well, so not the yellow, the, um, or would you call that turquoise or, or teal or green? I don't know. Don't know what those ones do. They probably, oh wait, these, okay, yeah, these rotate and move, that makes sense. It's a combination of the two symbols there, I see. In that case, we'll plonk that there, and that there. This is the uh, the learning curve stage of the, of this game, whereby I figure out what it is I'm supposed to be doing. But I think we got it now. There's four types of cubes that I can connect. All of which do their own little thing. Okay. Uh, I'll put that there. And... Uh, let's separate everything for now so I can be somewhat decisive. Huh. Okay. Maybe not. Let's move that down actually. Because there is our solution. It was just being sneaky. Okay. Uh Where should we start? There's no solid points to start from, so you kinda just gotta wing it. Okay, that has this is the only piece with two prongs to match up with that, meaning that it has to go like that. Then that would have to be like that. Okay. That would have to be like that, that would have to go there, that would have to go there. So it's all about finding specific points that have to be where they are and then work from that. Like this one's easier in that sense because we have a block that can't be moved. So we know that stuff has to be where it is. If that makes any sense at all, I do not know, but I'm sticking with it. You see, big brain energy. Okay, we only have the one two pronged thing. We then require some more stuffs. This works. There we go. We're going strong, going good. Everything's working according to plan. All that stuff. Hmm. All right. Here we go. We're going to do some big brain stuff. We need one of. Yeah, we need one of these probably. But that's the only one with the three pointed. Piece. So that means that these are both probably going to have to rotate in one way or another. Oh wait, but because these aren't solid, it doesn't mean that necessarily. So let's do a little bit of this. Have we got a piece like that? No. Um. Uh, 
that's gonna have to go there. Which doesn't cooperate with what we've got so far. So let's ignore what we have now. And just let's go for something. Anything would be nice. Okay, check check out these potatoes. Or something, I don't know. Um okay, we're gonna go here. And there. And then that doesn't work because they need to connect. This is not going to be an enjoyable experience, judging from what's going on so far with it. But all I can do really is commit to the bit and keep going. So, I need this piece to go here for reasons. I know that that side has to connect with that. Meaning that that's probably the best I'm going to get out of that. That could go there. And we can do that. A bit of that. And there we go. My my ape brain figured it out. Let's separate the pieces just to see the prongs easily. Okay, now I could go into that. Then that. And that, and that. Okay, yeah, and I was gonna try one thing, then another thing. If that didn't work, but it worked, which is the uh, the ideal outcome of such a thing. Okay, I don't think those are gonna connect easily, so that's gonna have to go like that, which is a okay. However, it might have to be a little something more like that, which won't work. Okay, it won't be like that. We're, well, I'm going to have to figure something out here. Let's just move all of those away. What has three prongs? This. That can then connect there. That can go there. Okay, here we go. Skidoosh! Brilliant. Okay. What's next, you might be wondering. Brilliant question. I'll get back to you on that one once I figure it out. We could try a little bit of uh, the crazy business, a little bit of that. Then some of that. Maybe some of this even. This is mad, but successful. And uh, it worked, so I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, whose fault's that? Probably mine. But hey. Uh, not my problem. <laughs> no, it's okay. Let's keep going. I think we're going to stop doing those, though, because I noticed... Oh, that was the last one. So those are advanced. And there's hexagonal and advanced hexagonal. Let's just move on to the hexagonal ones. To make it a little, little, little more tricky, a little less straightforward by increasing the amount of plausible rotation, it increases difficulty. I'm assuming is the logic behind it. That's gonna have to go there. Or not. No, those don't rotate. Which, quite frankly, sucks. Hang on a minute. We have a three and two. The reason I assume that one has to go there is because now it's diagonal, there's less places that specific things can go, which kind of makes it more apparent where they need to be. You know? So I don't know if the hexagonal one's harder or easier. I assume it's going to be harder. 
but it doesn't seem that way just yet. It is kind of just showing me where the things need to go, as of now at least. That looks right. Don't know why, but it does. However, that's going to change in a bit, judging by um, well, everything, quite frankly. There we go. So that's okay. This is it. There we go. So I can kind of, I can see where things need to go by seeing where they can't go. If that makes any sense. If not, oh well. It's a, a stinky, stinky moment if it doesn't make sense. Okay, we're gonna rotate this in a very specific way to do that. And this one's gonna rotate like that to go there. Okay, that just worked. I think the hexagonal ones might be. I don't wanna speak too soon, but they are coming across as easier than the others <laughs> I should start from the red I think is best strat for such a uh, what do you call this such a puzzle I don't know that doesn't really flow too well anyway this goes here I've decided and I can do that before anyone asks um, I can decide stuff hmm. I don't know that doesn't work anyway Unless that goes like that, then we're going to have to switch that out for this, which will work. And we can do a little bit of this madness. That's caveman genius level stuff. Great. Let's keep going. Okay. It starts to get difficult where there is a single prong coming off of the starting block, in this case the red kind of rigid block that won't move. The reason that, that would be difficult is because look at all of the groups of three we kind of have. Out of all of these, that one uh, or this one. So there's only two possible starting blocks, if that makes sense. We need to bridge it up, so I'm going to assume it's this one. Which could be a mistake, but I don't care. <laughs> okay, you know, that's not going to work. Or is it? It's not. Or is it? It's not. It's just not. I lied. It's not. Okay, let's put those together. Move this away. Put this one here. Oh, hello. What's that? You're working for me now? Brilliant. Okay. Plonk that there, and then crudely put put that there. So I guess because it didn't have rotations, it kind of made up for it. This one's confusing looking. That has to go like that. At least we know that much. Oh, uh, we have a thing that looks very strange and questionable. Let's put that there, though. Uh, now this doesn't seem right at all, does it? Those have to be like that because of the red block keeping them in place. Hmm. I'm not sure about that completely. There's not a lot I can do at the moment to uh, confirm or deny said theory. Let's try a little bit of this. A little bit, of, a little bit of this crazy business. Okay, not that. 
it's not wet. Meaning it's wool. Hey, that ain't right. I broke key. Uh oh. Oh, we've got some big bad news. Okay, let's let's go back to this. There we go. It's fixed to an extent. Okay. Let's try doing that again with less brokey this time. Uh, okay, this one has many the prongs. That can go there, then we can finish that off like that. Oh no, it's done, it's done it again. Let's just crudely drag it. I've found a way to break a game and I still don't know how I've done it. Oh, this isn't happy with me at all. Not one bit. Oh, don't rotate. It's like one of the worst things you could do. Come on. Not quite. We gotta go up. Please. Please. I need this. Oh, okay, it counted apparently. That was very painful. Why did it do that? I see. Interesting. Oh no, it's doing it again. Oh, this is terrible. Please. Please, no more. Okay, let's, um. Let's. I, I kind of want to not break the game. But I don't know if that's too much to ask or not. It seems like it might be a little bit too much to ask for. Just as of now, the game needs time to think, and my big brain solving the puzzles too quickly, that's all. Not really, I'm doing it quite slowly. Um, okay, this doesn't work anyway, so that's terrible. I know that these two need to be partnered together like that. Which makes me believe that maybe, just maybe, we're going to have to do some crazy business. Everything still is movable. Just barely. That would have to go there if they are like that. Which makes the rest of this a little perplexing. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. It's this new thing I invented called winging it. Don't Google who invented it because one, I don't think anyone knows, but two, um, that's mean. Okay, we've done it. We've gotten past the brokey bit. I don't know how I managed to pull it off, but I guess I'm just, uh, I've got raw talent to spare. Possibly. Okay. We have this piece that goes there. Hmm. It's gonna have to go like that unless I can find its replacement, which would have to be this little dude. Then, what's next, I hear you ask? If you didn't ask it, to pretend, go along with it. Um, we figure out where the remaining pieces go. That includes rotating different pieces to uh, kind of see any new opportunities regarding where they could go. Which also is easier said than done. Because I have all of these extra prongs, but nowhere for them to go. They're homeless prongs. We need to uh, we need to help them find a home. Wait, I just realized that this blue doesn't even fit. Which makes my job a bit easier, because I can now rotate stuff. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't see that one before. That's um, concerning. 
which makes that a lot easier to solve. I believe that was like level 10 though, yeah, that was level 10 hex guns. I'm gonna leave this off here before I somehow make it explode. So that was connected. If you liked it, like it. If you have suggestions for other games I should play, leave that in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. I'm a skedaddle. See ya.